I'm Gail Carton and I live in Arlington, Virginia and I've lived here all my life and I'm a teacher. Okay, off we go. Everybody got their seatbelts on or some semblance of them? Uh, one time I had uh, somebody walking down this, from the subway. I'd just gotten out of the car and was up on my front step and a man yelled at me, well, called to me and said, um, it, your car's still on. <laughs> and it was because it was going through the shutdown process. I've driven about 1,700 miles on the car, which is, that's 1,700 miles of not using gasoline. I think it's really important that we be responsible and that we, you know, not be wasteful and not do things that are gonna harm the environment if we can help it. I just like the concept of it not using gasoline and the fumes and stuff like that. And I do drive 30 miles round trip every day to, to work. And um, so I thought it sounded like a great idea. Be close. Mm -hmm. Just after the light up here. They have to have, you know, the system in place so that you're not tied to the fuel tank in terms of distance driving. I think once they, they get the system to where it's m more similar to the way we fuel today, where I don't have to, to go through so many steps to um, actually fuel the car, um, that would be the only thing that I would hope that they'd be able to, to improve on. uses hydrogen and hydrogen is part of the air that we breathe and that it gives out water vapor. Um, I don't know exact you know how that translates into um, efficiency and helping the environment. We drive it to the grocery store, we drive it everywhere, we drive it to church, wherever we're going. If we can take it, we will. It's like their, their dream of the future. 